In this video, we will learn how to integrate Jetpack navigation component. And why we need that? Because we will have multiple fragments, and between these fragments, we will have navigation from one fragment to another fragment. For that purpose, we will need Jetpack navigation component. It also help us to maintain the back stack and also like uh, to, to prevent us manually handling like the back button press from one frame to another. So to, to implement Jetpack navigation, we will go to the resource manager and click on the plus button and the navigation. We will name it app navigation. You can enter whatever name you want it. Press OK and just add that file to VCS git. It will take a little bit of time. Go to the resource and you will see the navigation folder. Inside the navigation folder, that file, the app navigation name exists. And you click on it, open it, so the preview will start loading. There I notice a problem because when adding the app navigation file, the jetpack navigation required some dependencies, but that dependencies did not add it. We will create a separate branch for that. In this video, you will also learn how to work in different branches and then merge that branch into main branch. Here is the command git checkout minus b and then whatever name you gave it to that branch. I will just simply name it navigation component. Enter it and you will switch to that newly created branch. Just to create a fragment. I will simply create two new different fragments. One is node listing and the second one is node detail fragment. I will remove the unnecessary code because we don't need them. We will use view binding to enable view binding. We will simply go to the Gradle module file and build features, then view binding true. From there, we will enable the view binding. Now, let's do setup of the view binding in the fragment. As I open the app navigation file, the preview was still loading. Then I did uh, close the Android Studio and restart it and reopen the project. There I see the dialog because the necessary dependencies were missing. Now we need to add these dependencies in order to uh, start working navigation. And I click on OK. It added the necessary dependencies in the Gradle file. I will go to the Gradle file and see if that is already there or not. Here we are. Now I'll just split it. We will add the newly two created fragment in the navigation component. I will also add navigation between them. Uh, new host fragment to, to load that navigation graph which we created. So for this purpose, we'll go to the main activity, create a fragment, then set constraints to match parent name field as a nav host and also default nav host true and also nav graph mention the file which we created now we will run the project to see if it's working or not it crash and we can see the crash in the log cat and let's find out why it's crash 
now we'll check that in the constraint route the id is missing so whenever any child of the id is missing inside the constraint route it will throw an error because without id constraint route is not working as we edit the id now we will run again and here we are so it's working fine so the first fragment we can see is not listing fragment that's because of we will go to the app navigation file and the start de destination is set as not listing fragment so whenever any of the fragment is set to a start destination it will the first fragment to be appear on the screen we can change it to not detail screen as well we can change it to any of the fragment in the new graph and we will merge the branch in the next video